Our family loves Sonoran style hot dogs. One thing I can't find in our area are these uh, bolillo uh, bread. They're pretty common in California, but I called my girlfriend and she gave me her grandma, her abuela's <laughs> recipe, and I followed it to a T and they came out perfect. So tonight we're having like the real deal Sonoran uh, hot dogs. I'm so happy. These were easy to make. Let me show you how I made them. In my mixing bowl, I have four cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and two tablespoons of lard. In my measuring cup, I have one and a half cups of warm water, two tablespoons of sugar. I'm adding one tablespoon of dry yeast. Give it a big stir. And I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes for the yeast to activate. The yeast is starting to activate. I'm going to slowly add the yeast mixture to the flour mixture. The dough is starting to come together. I'm gonna to knead it for another 10 minutes. After 10 minutes of kneading, I formed it into a ball. I put it into a greased bowl and I put uh, plastic wrap on it. We're gonna let this just sit in the kitchen. It's nice and warm in here today and let it double in size probably 45 minutes to an hour. You can see that the dough has risen. I'm gonna take it out, turn it out onto the counter. I'm gonna divide the dough into six pieces. Those are pretty even. I'm just gonna get them kind of rolled out into circles first of all. Now I'm just gonna try to shape the dough into the bolio shape. It's kind of tapered at the ends a little bit, kind of like a little shape kind of like that. Kind of the shape of a sweet potato, I guess. <laughs> All right, let me get these finished rolling out. I'm going to cover them with a clean kitchen towel for about 30 minutes and let them rise. Meanwhile, I have the oven preheating at 425. The rolls have risen. I'm going to take a sharp knife and make a cut through the top. They're going to go right into a 425 degree preheated oven. Into the oven they go. I added a handful of ice cubes. That's gonna help it kind of steam a little bit. We're gonna cook this for 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes. They're starting to brown up. So I'm gonna reduce the heat to 375 and cook them about another 10 minutes. After the additional 10 minutes of cooking, I took them out of the oven and put them on a cooling rack and these are what they look like. Delish, oh my goodness. The smell is amazing. Tonight for dinner, we're gonna make Sonoran style hot dogs. And I can't find the uh, bolillo uh, rolls in my area. I called a girlfriend, she gave me her grandma's recipe and I made them today. Super cinchy, 
OMG, I guess you can teach a old dog new tricks. I'm definitely gonna make these in the future because the Sonoran hot dogs are one of our favorites from California. And yeah, I am a happy girl. I'll show you how we got it done. I wrapped some bacon around hot dogs. I'm cooking them in some bacon grease. You can also do it on the grill. Either one is okay. You just wanna get the bacon crisp. I have hot dogs that I wrapped in bacon and I just fried them in bacon grease. You can also cook these on the grill. I also have some mustard. A couple of our boys like mustard with theirs. We also have some uh, homemade uh, pinto beans, some shredded cheese, pico de gallo, and I added an avocado. If you like avocado, I'd highly recommend adding it. There's something about the creamy avocado in this recipe that just really adds a lot. I have some mayo that I thinned out with uh, some lime juice. And then I have some, these are pickled uh, jalapenos. I think they call them cowboy candy. Uh, we had so many jalapenos in our garden this year, I canned a lot of that. All right, so let's get this together. To plate up the hot dogs, I just split the top of the bun, added the hot dog. I'm gonna add a little bit of the beans. some of the cheese. That pico de gallo. I'm gonna take some of that thinned out mayonnaise, drizzle some on the top. And you know I have to have some of those jalapenos, those candied jalapenos. A little bit of fresh cilantro. Finally, I'm just gonna drizzle on a little bit of hot sauce. This is the Black Label Valentina, so good. And that is our Sonoran hot dog on our bolillo bread. I was so excited how these rolls turned out. You guys have no idea because we have to go all the way to Syracuse. It's 90 minutes there and 90 minutes back if we want to purchase these. I can't find a store around us that has them. So to be able to make them at home and turn out as good as they did, yes. <laughs> it was like, I was so excited. Um, the one thing I would do differently when you put together the hot dog and all the, the toppings, instead of cutting the bun this way, I would have cut it on the side. That way when you stuff the hot dog in there and all of the fillings, you know, you could really get your mouth around it. <laughs> that would be really good. <laughs> so next time I'll do the recipe just like it is, but I'll just, when I'm putting everything together, I'll cut it the other way. All right, guys. Well, I hope you give this one a try because it's a really good hot dog. I get my hot dogs at um, Sam's Club. They're the ones that come in the big box, I think. Let me think. I think it's 120 count. They're the all beef quarter pounder dogs. And I think they come in a case and it costs, I want to say $65, something like that. But they're the really good hot dogs. Like, you know when you go to Costco, or you go to Sam's Club and you get that hot dog? It's those hot dogs. So anyway, there's the recipe for the Sonoran hot dogs and for the Bolillo rolls. <laughs> Until the next video, I'll talk to you guys later. I forgot to mention one thing about the hot dogs is they come in packages of five and they're already in that heavy duty vacuum pack so they're ready to go into the freezer. Anyway, just in case you wanted to know. So that's, uh, let's see, they're coming in a big box. There's 120 and they're packages of five. So that's 24 packages of five that 
you can just put right into the freezer. So I really like that. That's very convenient. Anyway, just in case you wanted to know. 